Hey guys, in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Eishin E50 Selfie Drone. And this is a brushed quadcopter with foldable arms, runs on a 1S battery, has a uh, built-in camera that can record video on your phone using uh, a, um, an app. And you can control this with uh, Wi-Fi FPV. Um, you can actually control it with the app as well. There's no uh, standalone controller that you can use with this. Um, the arms just fold out like this. It's pretty, pretty basic. And uh, they kind of clone the the Dobby, which is kind of similar to this, but it comes with uh, brushless motors, whereas this comes with brushed motors. And the motors are actually in the arm here, uh, sideways, with some gears. And they actually give you a extra set of props with an extra set of gears when in case those wear down. I suppose those wear down before the motors do. You also get a USB charger. And they also include uh, this 500 milliamp hour 1S battery. It's a little bit longer and narrower than the other 500 milliamp hour Eishin batteries I have, but the other batteries um, also fit inside the uh, battery compartment underneath here. Just slide that open and the battery just plugs in right over there and then you just close it up. So basically it's pretty basic how uh, you connect this to work just like a lot of the other Wi-Fi FPV drones. Uh, you launch your um, app and you actually uh, turn this on first and then go to your Wi-Fi settings, connect to the Wi-Fi that's being transmitted from the drone, then you launch your app and then uh, you'll be able to see the camera image and then also um, fly the drone. Now in the app, I'll, I'll just quickly go over the the interface that I'll be using and how I'm going to fly it. I'm going to fly it uh, kind of like a lot of the other reviewers are because I don't like the on-screen um, thumbsticks. It just doesn't they don't really work well for me and I have a hard time controlling it. So I'm going to be using the altitude hold and the gyroscope so I can use the phone to, uh, the way that the gyro works in the phone is you just you hold the phone and then you would tilt it to move it in either forward, backwards, or left and right directions. You, you have to still control the throttle and the yaw on the screen but those are a little bit easier to manage than the left and right movements. And then I'm also going to be using headless mode to point the drone, uh, the drone camera at me, and I'll be able to take some photos and videos that way. Um, there's a button on the lower left-hand corner to take off that starts the motors, and then you just throttle up, and that'll take off the drone. And I'll go ahead and I'll demonstrate that right now. So the app you want to get is um, Wi-Fi UFO on Android in the um, Android Play Store, and I think in the Apple in the Apple App Store it's also called the same thing. And I already have it downloaded. You go ahead and open it up. Um, but before you open the app, you want to go to your Wi-Fi settings and connect to uh, the uh, E50. Go ahead and turn on the E50. And then go into your phone. And you want to connect to the E50. It's probably, it's probably called like e Sheen something like that. There it goes. There it is right there. Connect to that. And then once you see that you're connected, then uh, go back to the Wi-Fi UFO app. And then hit the play button. And you should be able to see the camera output. You see here's my hand in front of the camera. There's a little bit of latency. You can see there's a little bit of latency in the feed that's coming back. Let's go over some of the buttons here. Picture, video, to start your video recording. Uh, your rate's 30%, uh, I think 60 and 100%. And then uh, this little sand hourglass thing is, I think that's the altitude hold. And you have the, yeah, that's on and off, and then this is your, I believe that's a gyroscope. And then this off and on button over here turns on the, the virtual joysticks. And you got a 
some additional functions over here. I think one of these is headless mode. I think it's this one right there. It turns it on and off if you want to turn the quad around and face you for the video. Um, it's a little bit easier to control. The gyroscope is for using the phone as as the, the, the actually the gyroscope accelerometer in the phone to um, maneuver the quad. As you can see, as I tilt it, the stick will move on its own, it's, and it's only only for the right stick. So, it's uh, if you move forward, it'll move that way, and that and backwards will move that way. You see the stick is moving, or you can just use the on on stick controls. Now, the Android app doesn't have the takeoff buttons. So there's an automatic takeoff and an automatic landing button. So there should be an automatic takeoff button here on the lower left, and an automatic landing button on the lower right and then an emergency stop button here in the middle it doesn't exist on the android app i think it exists on the apple app but not on the android app so in order to um, start the motors you have to drag the sticks down and to the outside so let me uh, demonstrate that i think it'll start spinning the props if i do that there it goes And then if you want to stop the props, you just drag the throttle all the way down. And you can see that. You can hear that it just stopped. So that's how you would uh, take off. If you want to record video, you press the video button here, and I'll start recording. You can see right there, it's recording some video. So that's all, that's all basically how you would control the quads. Go ahead and give it a fly. But first I'm trying to fly the E50 uh, with the virtual sticks on the screen and I found that to be quite difficult and I was just pretty much within my expectation. You have to be looking at the screen to know where you're touching because there's no uh, feedback on uh, how the sticks are moving other than what you can see what the craft is doing but by the time you see the movement of the craft it's, it's too late. Uh, so I switched over to using the gyro in the phone and it requires a fair amount of tilt over on the phone at 30% uh, rates to get to do anything. And so it's very sluggish in this response and uh, so I attempted to go a little bit higher at 60%. And um, it, you know, it, it is flyable. I think that if I spent some time flying it with the phone in that manner, uh, I probably could uh, Gets pretty good at flying it. It's fairly stable as long as you get, as long as you get it trimmed out and it's not actually moving in one direction or other. But I had uh, some difficulties getting it trimmed so that it would remain stationary. And so I think once you do all that, it is fairly stable. The altitude control seems to work fairly well. It's just getting it. It's just a matter of getting it trimmed to keep it uh, in the position that you want because there's no GPS obviously and, and no uh, uh, other sensors to maintain its position. The video quality is uh, pretty low quality. It's it's nothing to write home about, and the, the field of view is fairly narrow. It's a you know, small uh, CMOS sensor, so this is obviously toy grade stuff here. But you know, if you just want to get some uh, quick little pictures or some cell phone type uh, video, uh, this this will do. It's, it's forty bucks, so it's not like it's going to cost you a ton of money. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked this video, and let me know if you have any questions, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.